Hello all. Today we will look at the new features for 21.5. To start with, we have to first look at how do you deploy the new image. On the OCI console, you navigate to Marketplace, which is here, and search for the SPACE listings. Once you search for the SPACE listings, there are two listing options. Choose either the BYOL or the UCM option. Select the option, choose the version that you want to deploy, choose a compartment on which you want to deploy, accept the terms and conditions, and launch the stack. Once you launch the stack, you would land on a page like this. So here you would provide the details for the name for your stack and a optional description. Click Next. You would give a unique identifier for all the resources that are deployed for the stack. Choose this option, Upgrade Stack, if you want to upgrade your existing stack, which is a supported stack version, to this new stack version. I'm not going to do that now. This option would be grayed out in the case. This is the image that will be deployed. Choose the domain, choose a shape, and specific OCPU data volume sizes, block volume sizes, and provide an SSH key. Once you provide that information, you need to then provide the SPACE admin username and the password. The password is the vault OSID for the password key that you have generated. Choose the time zone and a couple of important options that you would need to enable federated partitions and the new feature for smart view on a browser which is in the preview mode. If you want to leverage S space to load data into ADW using the standard S space processes, you need to choose the catalog storage type as the object storage bucket. Also, if you want to deploy the preview version of the smart view, check this option. This enables a smart view server internally on the server that allows you to connect to a space from a browser. Choose the identity configuration. These are all standard. I'm choosing the node to be publicly visible. These are some advanced networking options. The other option that you would need to enable for federated partitions to work is you need to deploy your repository schema or the database configuration option to an autonomous data warehouse. In this example, you can choose to either deploy an existing autonomous database to which this space instance can connect to, or you can choose to deploy a new ADW instance. In order to get to that, you click on Show Advanced Database Options and choose Autonomous Data Warehouse. If you do not choose this option, by default, we deploy Autonomous Transaction Processing. So if you want to leverage federated partition, this is an important deployment step. You can choose to provision a load balancer if you choose to keep your space in a private node. I'm not going to choose that. Click on Next. Review your selections and once you're satisfied, you may choose to run Apply and create the stack. This now launches a resource manager job that will deploy an SPACE instance onto the compartment that you have selected, onto the region that you have selected along with the configuration options that you chose in the previous screen. We will wait for this to complete. So we now see that the resource manager job has completed. It has deployed certain OCI stack components. If we scroll down on the logs, we see the details for the space instance that has been created. 
and uh, it mentions here that the configuration is still ongoing in the background so we'll wait for about 15 20 minutes so that we can access the space instance that has been deployed in order to get the details you can click on application information section and you'll get all the details the url for your space instance the rcu schema prefix the different storage buckets that have been deployed and this is the bucket that we chose to deploy the catalog on so it creates a catalog bucket so this way we get all the details of the stack that has been deployed in the next video we will look at the space url and proceed further